Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you all on how to build this very cool crystallized iron farm as it's super OP. As you can see here right now in my hotbar, I have 357 crystallized iron. This means this farm gives almost one crystallized iron per one minute or even two minutes. It's super OP, super efficient, and super epic. If you don't know what I mean, and you still don't believe me, it literally incinerates these rocks. That's the method I'm using. And then I'm basically just going to be continuously mining these. Well, this top floor reloads in these, this rock, this one will be providing us with rocks. And then while this one reloads, this one will be giving us the rocks. And we will be using this at maximum efficiency. But before I get into the video, I want to ask you all to like and subscribe. Please, because many of you are not subscribed. Let me actually now show you all on what materials you need and how to build it. Oh guys, I almost forgot to tell you that I'll be hosting a giveaway. To join the giveaway, you do not, I'm saying do not, com I'm saying again, do not comment down below your username. And the reason of that is because I'm hosting the giveaway at my Discord server. I'll leave a link down in the description of my Discord server, of course, in the description, and you have to tell me there what giveaway items you want, and I have a giveaway instruction tab, and you want to just basically look there at how to participate in the giveaway. But again, what you need to do is join the Discord server, and of course, like and subscribe this video. I'll be hosting the giveaway, or I should be saying, I will be announcing what I'll be giving away for the items, and starting the giveaway, starting tomorrow. And then you'll have three days to join it, starting tomorrow again, from this video being released to join the giveaway anyways guys please like and subscribe even if you don't want to join the video because many of you are not subscribed anyways guys all right guys just sh let's show you all how to build this amazing device first things first start off by building two blocks up from wherever you want and now you want to build a seven by seven layer so one two three four five six seven and seven the other way too so one two three four five six seven now Did this you want to punch a hole or just mine the middle block right here and you also want to mine the blocks around it like there's just the four corners around this block i'll tell you a little bit later why and now on the side of any stone on any side of this place you just want to add your ladder and again you want to build up place one totem you want to measure how big it is i believe it's four blocks high and you want to do the exact same thing a seven by seven layer all over again but right on top of this iron totem. You, you want to mine the wall you just made. And then you want to make the exact same thing again. I'll be back with you when I'm done doing this. Alright guys, I just finished making our two layers here. Now there's a small trick you want to do. You want to pull out, pull, pull out sorry, you want to pull out your auto clicker, set the delay to one millisecond, and you want to grab your iron totem, and you basically just want to place it all around these stone bricks that are placed, and also on this small layer of, of course, stone. So start your auto clicker and place them as fast as you can all together. It's okay if you miss one or two, just come back to it once you're done. The reason of using the auto clicker is because each totem actually has one second of delay and there's 35 seconds, it takes 35 seconds for the iron totem to spawn in the iron ore. Meaning that if we can get 35 iron totems, that means there will be no delay. But actually as I just showed you, that we literally just incinerate, literally incinerate the rocks. We have to make that delay, we have to like add more times it by two. So once you've done that, you want to let it load for just a little bit. Once it loads, I'll show you exactly what to do. But in the meantime, you want to put, pull out your pullovers macro. I'll show you exactly what to do and how to do 
All right, guys. While our iron totems load, you want to get your pullovers macro ready. I'll leave the link down in the description on where to download it, and I'll show you on how to download it at the end of the video. Anyways, once you open it, you'll be spammed with tons of advertisements. You want to just hit no thanks and no and so on. Once you do that, the first thing you want to do is insert a loop. You want to make sure this repeat is zero because zero is infinite. That means it's just going to keep on looping around, which I mean repeating your actions over and over again, whatever is in the loop. So if you don't know what a loop is, it's basically just going to keep on repeating an action over and over till you have told it to stop. You want to keep these hotkeys in mind, F12 and F8. F12 is to pause it and F8 to stop it. For some reason I've tried to change the hotkeys for play, but F3 for some reason won't work for me. You can try configuring it out, but I've tried a lot, but for some reason it just doesn't work for me. Anyways, you can change these hotkeys by pressing whichever key you want, make sure the loop is on 0, or you just did, and next thing you want to do is insert a mouse keystroke. Sorry, not a keystroke, just a mouse action. You want to hit make sure it's on click, and then here down in the button section you want to hit hold. And then you want to repeat this once because it's going to be in a loop that doesn't really matter. And you want to hit the delay under 10 seconds. So all you have to change really is the hold function. Hit OK. Now your action for your mouse button will be under here, like right underneath the loop. What you want to do is drag it into the loop. And then it should all be yellow. Now to run the loop, you have to simply hit this button. Once you hit the button, it's just going to start running the program and then to pause the button you'll have to hit f12 or stop it with f8 i also noticed that this pullovers macro gives some trouble on starting up sometimes i noticed you have to go to task manager and force quit this tab and then you have to reopen it because for some reason once you've stopped the code it doesn't open again if you want to reprogram or something so i just usually go to task manager force shut down the tab then i just open it again so guys, there's actually a small trick to actually mining these rocks. As you probably know, I've made this hole for a reason that you want to make your way down here and you want to basically just position your mouse cursor in the right spot. But your mouse cursor actually ends up mining this rock and it's really hard. So you actually have to change your camera mode to, of course, camera toggle. What camera toggle allows you to do is to change it out of this. But once you activate it, you're usually with this plus sign hit right click and right click again so basically just hit right click look up here hit right click again and position your mouse cursor in the right spot where it allows you to actually incinerate both rocks just in the middle since i actually just rejoined while making this video the totems are out of sync so it won't work at maximum efficiency but i will just show you some footage of me incinerating these rocks literally anyways So first things first guys, head over to this website, link down in the description of this website, hit download, it's going to head over to Pullover's Macro Creator and it's going to auto download it for you. So once it's going to download, it's going to just open, you want to hit it, press this arrow key, hit open, and now you'll be set up to the setup. You want to hit yes, you want to hit ok, and now you want to just basically set it up. Next, you want to agree to the terms of services, and basically you want to just look over what you want but this is not optional i'm lazy and i just like to accept and i don't like to read anyways once you accept the agreement you want to pick where you want the setup to be installed you want to hit next you want to hit next again you can pick some additional tasks if you like like the version additional icons and so on but I, i'm fine with the default settings that's it and then you want to hit install after you hit next but since i already have this al already on my computer i'm going to hit cancel and basically once you install it you can open it up using like uh, your taskbar you can if you've downloaded it on a desktop i can you can do it but for some reason sometimes pullovers macro doesn't open if you've already used it once and the reason of that is because it's always running in the background and to open it again you actually have to force quit the app the way you're going to do this is head over to task manager you want to open over your task manager and you want to find in your background processes or even apps it doesn't matter it can be in either one and you want to try to find somewhere in here 
macrocreator.exe or macro creator and then once you do that you want to select it and then you want to hit end task and then you want to open up see macro creator and task it should end the task there we go i have my desktop icon right here on my pin bar and then voila it has just opened up and Anyways, guys, guys this pretty much concludes the, this video today it gives you tons of crystallized iron i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please consider liking and subscribing and do not forget to join this really cool giveaway i assure you you guys can pick whatever items you want get creative vamp bows title blueprints get whatever you guys want anyways guys thanks for watching and bye now